All right, so this video is gonna show you how to make a like box for your website. And the example that I use is the Case Foundation. If we go to their homepage and we scroll down a little bit on the right-hand side, there's a like box. Now, what's brilliant about the like box is that you do not have to leave the website to like the page. Okay, so here I am, I am not a fan, I'm liking the page, they've just acquired a fan, okay? The second way that this is powerful is that there's social proof. So I'm seeing the faces of people who are my friends, my actual Facebook friends. So if I'm not a fan, they might convince me to become a fan, right? And then the third thing that makes a like box really powerful is that um, you can measure it with Facebook insights, all right? So I'm gonna show you how to make this like box. You go to this URL right here, which I will include right below, and uh, you simply Follow the instructions. So you type in the page URL, you hit tab, you go to the next field, and you decide what width you need for your particular use, okay? Now if you scroll down a little bit, you can see that they give you a preview right here. You're just gonna type in the width, whatever width you might want. So I'll just say 300 pixels. This is pixels, by the way. I can decide on a height. So I can say, oh, I want the height to be 500 pixels. The other thing you can do is you can show friends' faces, which I would recommend. Show the header. You don't need the header because by now, people know that when they see a link like this and it says like this, they know it's Facebook. So we don't need a header right there. A border, you know, you can show or hide this. It really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna hide it for our purposes. And posts. So. Depending upon how you wanna use the like box, do you wanna feature the people on your Facebook page or the content? What do you wanna feature? And obviously that's gonna differ depending upon your strategy. So in this case, we're just gonna not show posts. Click on get code, HTML5, XFBML, iframe. So you pick the appropriate one and you can associate this with an app, Facebook app ID if you want. So if you want deeper analytics into how people are interacting with that like box, you can create an app for it. Okay, and uh, you just simply copy the code. Here's the code right here. They already copy it for you. You just, you know, copy. Then go over to your web person or webmaster or your website. You know, if you're using something easy like WordPress, this is gonna be pretty straightforward. You would paste it into either a page as code or you would paste it into a widget in the sidebar, okay? But again, I'm gonna leave the rest to you and we will talk very soon. Bye.